I'd rather keep an eye on her myself. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. That's what I was thinking. It was like... Yeah, it's like that boat's not big enough. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. She looks like an assassin. <laughs> I'm starting to really like her, though. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Great. Ben, I swear to God, if you freeze again. Yeah, I'm starting to really like Molly. Which probably means she's gonna die, unfortunately. R.I.P. Carly. <sighs> this should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. <laughs> Derp. Let's go. Get sniped right away. Game over, man. Game over, man. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Looks like a walker. He's a walker, isn't he? What the fuck? Yeah, Crawford got overrun, for sure. That's why. That's why there are no guards. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Damn it! If I were these guys, I would have retreated knowing that Crawford was overrun and came back during the morning. Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, come on. What the hell happened here? 
I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. What do you mean you think? You're supposed to know these I things. I bad feeling about this. You and me too, Ben. But I won't be a pussy. I'm shaking my fist at the screen right now, actually. Oh, so they barred in the walkers. That's why the X's. Still haven't figured out what those sig those signs mean on the doors, though. Just keep moving. Yes, ma'am. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. I have a feeling that the old man and the lady is throwing us for a loop right now. That they knew that this was gonna happen. A little bit too helpful, if you ask me. Them shifty eyes. <laughs> I like the try. <laughs> Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Lady, we do not have a second. Battery. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? <coughs> what about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. I like stay that plan. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Something about going with a girl who can kick my ass. Kind of turns me on. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Give her a gun! Uh, Nothing but crayons and construction paper.
Hopscotch. I want to play. No power, no TV. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Creepy. I was about to say the exact same thing. What the kind of kid plays with dolls like that? Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh. Yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, yep. Uh, I'll let you get on with it. Like how he doesn't deny it. <laughs> no, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben, <laughs> no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Ben? Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Ben, for once in your life, stop being a little bitch. Holy fuck. Looks like they have quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Oh. I see. That's what it means. Hmm. <laughs> 